tell me a little bit about, do you have a word of the year yet? I'm actually going through my book. I have written down a lot of words. I know clarity, direction, courage, star, action. This year, I really, I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of studying it. I'm tired. I, I'm ready to step out in my truth. Um, I thought, you know, you still wonder back and forth about what is your truth, how how big and how, I guess you know your truth. It just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, but that is, that is what I want to happen this year. So what does that mean to you when you say you're stepping into your truth? What does that actually mean? It means knowing that I have always been this person, this person of power, this person of strength, um, knowing I've always been this person of gifts and running away and running back and then letting others dictate and control by their reaction to me or how... Um, I let I let I care too much about what people think thought and then I let them brainwash me and over the last year I've been coming out of this coma and awakening and awakening and awakening and now it's I'm awake it's time to step. What are you awakening to? Monica, that was always there. Monica Which is, is loving and kind and compassionate. And, okay. and the Monica who has a brilliant mind and the Monica who whose voice is valid. Okay. And what are you hoping will happen when you speak your truth? Or when you step into your truth? I will have success all the way across the board of my life. And what would that success look like? Just a happy life. A happy life. What does a happy life look like? Mm. Contentment and thankfulness for all those around me. Um, a happy life is having a successful salary coming in where I can take care of myself and not depend on the men around me. Um, whether they're there, it's good. Whether they're not, it's good. But I can take care of myself regardless. Okay. Um, reaching people with our message, turning people's lives around, um, Invalidation. Okay. Um, I guess kind of like the science validation that's going on right now with just an example, our chakras and um, the chakras and science lining up and saying they're real because mm -hmm. because I talked my talk for so long and people. Oh, her, the crazy one. Oh, her. And now I'm going to get to say, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm actually very smart. <laughs> so that's a, that's not really something that you can do something about, though, external validation, right? But it sounds like there's a piece of you that in order to get to the point where you believe you've earned it, you you need to speak like you've like you said, you need to step into your truth. Yes. So what is and so take it just take a nice deep breath and close your eyes and just for a moment feel in your body what it feels like to be showing up in that way, the way that you described. What is the first word that bubbles up? 
passionate. Okay. What is the third word that bubbles up? Um, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> That's okay. Just take some deep breaths and if there's no rush. And just try and feel it in your body. Like, what is the feeling in your body when you think about being that person? Magnet. Okay, magnet. Write that word down. Um, tell me more about that word and what it feels like in your body. And if you need to, tell me about the actual sensations in your body, what that what that feels like. Feels perfect. Sorry? It feels perfect. It feels it feels like source energy that will draw the people to me like a magnet. Okay. Um, it feels like? It feels like I'm deliberately creating my life. I'm a magnet for success. I am a magnet for love. I am a magnet for those seeking direction. Okay. So if you're a magnet, what is that? Because it sounds a lot like you're dancing a little bit with a sense of power. Is that accurate? Am I getting that yeah. right? Yes, because I felt so powerless. Right. Just powerless so over everything in my life. But I have a new sense of power, a new sense of drive, and a new sense of self-esteem. My fire has been relit in my belly. Like... Okay. So if you had that power, what would you be able to do? Not have to depend on a man to help me. <laughs> okay. Could you, could you tell that story that a little differently? It's a very small part of a very big picture. I just, I guess, wow, you're getting me really deep. I wasn't even thinking about. <laughs> um, That's for me. You are magical. <laughs> so what's going through your mind? Because you distracted yourself there. With every bit of power that comes, there's humbleness and humility, knowing that it is not mine, that it is God's source through me that I choose to accept or not. Mm-hmm. So it's a bit like channeling power. Yes. So when you hear the word magnet, do you, in your mind, is there a connection between the word magnet and channeling power? N no, magnet sounds too harsh and rigid. What would sound less harsh and more flexible. Accepting? No. No. No, that didn't fit at all. Um...
Just throw out a couple of words, because you started at Magnet. Magnet is a really good... Attuned. Huh? Attuned. Attuned. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Does the word attuned... Okay, well, maybe look that up. Maybe look up on dictionary.com, but I, I'd like I'd like you to um, attune yourself into, does that feel like a passive position or does that feel like an assertive position? It feels assertive. Okay. It feels assertive, but it also reminds me I can't do anything on my own. I have to have source energy flowing through me for my light to shine. Okay. And I'm going to ask you just a, cl a clarifying question with this is that is, you know, is your perception of source of energy something that's separate from yourself or is it the, is it the power within you that's instilled by God? It's the power within me. Okay. So if you envision, if you sort of create a visual image in your mind, and close your eyes and see how that power is running through you. Does the word attuned make the most sense to choose at this time? No. Okay. Is there a better word that pops up? Alignment. Alignment. Okay. Is there is is alignment the word? Perfect. Now you're moving away. You're going into your head. Go back into your body. Word alignment, but I don't think it's I don't think it's what it is. No. So let's go back to it. Tell me what was missing for you from the word attuned. You know, thinking about it, attuned is perfect. I like attuned. What do you like about it? My vibration is attuned by source energy. So if you have that word, if you have the word attuned, what kind of things could you do that you don't do now? I don't know. Okay, so let's let's back up for a minute then, and I'd like to go back to the word magma. Because there was a lot of power in the word magnet. I just want you to feel that in your body again. So you described the feeling to me of being the magnet as something where you're attracting things into your experience and sort of channeling source energy in a way. Yeah. So tell me a little bit. Feel that. That like vibrates through my body. Right. Good. Okay. 
that vibrates through my maybe the word magnetic. Okay. I don't know, but I just know that I have put so much into my vortex. There is so much momentum behind what is going on that there is no way that I cannot be a magnet for all the all the things that I've created. Right. And that feels powerful. That feels good. That feels exciting. That feels deliberate. Cool. So would you say that's a good word? Magnetic or magnet? Which, Which one? one? The verb <laughs> or the Well I like you know, when I when I when I it sort of help people with their word of the year, my goal is to get them to understand that how this happens at the level of identity, right? So it's who you are. So you can be a magnet and you can be magnetic. What is the difference for you? I'm a magnet. Magnetic is the action. Okay. It's just what I do because I'm a magnet. <laughs> Okay, so that that seems to me that seems to be the word that has the most power for you right now. Well, I, yeah, no, I like magnetic. It's happy. It sounds like it's dancing. All right, so just close your eyes, take a deep breath. <laughs> Feel both of the words. Look at them as on the screen in front of your eyes and and see which one lights up for you the most. Magnetic. Okay. So now make a decision that that is your word. And when you make a decision, you cut off it's the word decide. The basis of that word is to cut off other things. So commit to that word and commit to that sense of being this magnetic source of energy. Can you do I that? Commit. I commit and it feels good. <laughs> good. <laughs> like I just opened my eyes. I feel like I came out of a meditation. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, I, that was never any of my words going, going around in my head, but that's what I will it just this it's just gonna happen. That's just this is the word for the year. We are magnetic. I am magnetic. Send us <laughs> more men, momentum and force behind it. We can do nothing but shine. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is Jill still there? I'm she there. is. She's I'm doodling. Do you want to do more work around it? Do you want to do some checklist stuff, or is that enough for today? Well, I think that's enough for today. Just sit with it for a little bit, and we can always go back to it and, like, checklist and boost it up. Or you could work through the checklist on your own as well, and if you ever have any questions, you can just send me a text or something. Yeah, I'll give her, um, I'll give her a copy of the checklist. Yeah. But the you know, sort of settle into it as if it's kind of like you're marinating a little bit in the word and allow, you know, it feels like you're in the vortex and you have that experience of like the, the, the sparkliness of it, then let that, keep that going, milk that for a little while. I love this word. I love this word. Like I'm already like going home going to be like, I am a magnet for good energy. It's, I am magnetic. I only attract good energy. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. I am a magnet, and this is how it goes. I am loving this word. I'm not having fun with this. That's great. Awesome. Thank you, Nick. All right. Bye. Thank you, Nick.